Really smart cooking. Great. Good Thank job. You. Thank you. Remarkable. This dish shows the best of who you are as a person and your ability as a cook, no doubt. Congratulations. Thank you, Josh. Well done. Wow. Thanks. I think Josh definitely can keep his cool in the kitchen. He's confident, and I think he talks the talk, and I think he could walk the walk, too. All right, the next dish that we'd like to taste belongs in the cookbook of Christine. Christine's dish looks great, as usual. Her scallops are seared beautifully. I don't even understand how she gets that type of caramelization being blind. She's really tough competition. Love to see that wok come out. Yeah. So I did a stir fry with some rice noodles, shallot, garlic, ginger, soy sauce, fish sauce, and then seared scallops that I um, seasoned with a little bit of salt and chili oil. It's really a, a complete sensation because it's kind of salty, sweet, rich. The noodles have a great texture to them. It's very intense. How do you know how much of something you put in when you put it in the bowl? Um, I kind of measure it out in my hands and then I put it in. And so then how about adjust. liquids? I just kind of guess and adjust. You taste and then adjust? Yes, exactly. Wow. Oh, they taste incredible. And the flavor of the scallop shines through. Good job. Thank you, chef. I mean, there's two things I could wish right now. I wish you could see this bowl of food, and I wish your mother was standing next to me tasting it, because it's a true testament of where you've come in this competition. Thank you. I'm telling you, absolutely delicious. Well done. Thank you. Okay, uh, Becky, please bring your dish. Up. Tell me about this dish. I made pan fried loup de mer fish soup with sunchoke puree, roasted fennel, and vinaigrette with charred jalapeno and scallions. I mean, it's a pretty small portion for an entree. Yeah, the, the fillets were going to be too small, so I ended up taking the fish that I used to make the stock and I turned that into like a fish soup with roasted fennel. The fish itself, I love the crust on it, mm -hmm. but ultimately, it's a little dry. Mm -hmm. Slightly overcooked. I don't know. I mean, it's seasoned well, but it, it's not a cohesive dish. It doesn't scream who you are. I guess I think that the type of food that I grew up eating is not very like sophisticated, so I think that for me, I'm trying to maybe do too much that I can right now. And then I was just thinking about what I should be doing to like, for you guys and to beat them, and I just completely lost it, and I don't have a good excuse. As a lot riding on your shoulders, and you've been a front runner. And right now, um, you're definitely not, especially with a dish like that. That was the wrong thing yeah, to pick. Yeah, and you know that you can't butcher it. Mean, it doesn't quite make sense, does it? Yeah. At this stage of the competition, no. And then you look at Christine's scallops. <sighs> Josh knew right away he's doing curry. Yeah, yeah, blend the spices, they'll be delicious. We've ranked the dishes from first place, second, and third, and that will determine who gets the biggest advantage in your final elimination test. The person who cooked the dish at the bottom of the pile was Becky. It's down to Christine and Josh. The person who prepared and cooked the best dish The person who prepared and cooked the best dish tonight. Christine. Wow. Yeah, that, freaking <laughs> that dish 
was phenomenal. Thank Absolutely you. mind blown. How do you feel? Great. I'm glad I won the last mystery box. I'd be pissed off if this sucker won, man. Christine, well done. Thank you. Going into this elimination is essentially the most pressure that I've ever felt. I have to come back. I have to redeem myself now. Okay, up next is your final elimination challenge. Let's all go into the pantry and you can find out what your advantages are. Please, let's go. In the final elimination challenge, all three home cooks will each make one dish with the best two moving into the grand finale. You're about to find out the consequences of winning and losing that final mystery box challenge. Christine, once you've heard what the three very different ingredients are, you'll get to pick which one you alone will cook with. Okay. Josh, for coming in second, you get to pick from those remaining two ingredients. Of course, that means, Becky, you don't get a choice. The theme of tonight's final elimination challenge is legs. And the first legs are leg of lamb, a classic cut of meat, but difficult to cook. The next legs used to belong to chicken, used in every cuisine and culture around the world. And the third and final personal favorite of mine, I absolutely love them. Hello, Kermit. Frog's legs. Wow. <laughs> so, Christine, what legs are you going for? I have to think about, do I play to my strength or do I pick something that leaves someone else to get screwed on? Hopefully, I can do both. I'm maybe the simplest and the least expensive, but I think I can do the most with them. So, I'm gonna go with the chicken legs. Wow. Josh, think very carefully. So essentially, I am picking for me and for Becky right now. I mean, this is a huge advantage. What are you thinking? Um, I don't think Becky's ever cooked with frog legs before. So I'm going to have to choose the leg of lamb. Becky, when was the last time you cooked frog's legs? Um, that would be never, chef. <laughs> when was the last time you ate frog's legs? Again, never. <laughs> wow. You all have 10 minutes now to shop for anything else you need to make a dish that can get you to the MasterChef finale. That 10 minutes starts now. This is the last dish before the final, so you have to play to win. Now is not the time to be around with frog legs. <laughs> I have to cook something with these frog's legs that's going to show the judges that I belong in the finale. And I have no idea how to cook with these things. Okay, we've got a surprise for you, and it's waiting back in the MasterChef kitchen. <laughs> wow, these are the home cooks that you conquered to get here. Welcome back, everybody. They are gonna cheer you on into the finale. Seeing all these familiar faces cheering us on, it gives me hope and it really does lift me up a little bit. I was questioning myself, but I know that all these guys are behind me and it really helps with my attitude. Magnificent Monty. Who do you think right now has it to win MasterChef? I think this is a girl's game to lose, but I think Christine will win. Frank. Who do you think is going to win this competition? There's no question in my mind. I want Becky to win because she has a huge passion for food. Ryan, how have you been? I've been very good, thank you. Who will win MasterChef? Josh will win MasterChef. Well, it's great to have you all back here in the MasterChef kitchen. Please head up to the balcony. Show your support for the final three. You three, onto your stations, please. Thank you. Two of you will be going on to the MasterChef finale. <laughs> Becky, Christine, and Josh, your time starts now. <laughs> Becky, Christine, and Josh, your time starts 
now. This is the last dish before the finals. We're about to start cooking. I'm about to take these girls down today. Where's my chef's knife? I worked my ass off to get here to top three. I overcame obstacles that I didn't think I could overcome, but now I believe in myself.